You almost had me for a moment, Akumu. I thought you weren't gonna take the bait I put out. But you're so goddamn predictable, and everything's falling right into place like I wanted it to. For those of you who don't know what's going on, let me catch up real quick. A while ago, Akumu made a video called The Coping Coda, in which he responded to a single point from my kumo sum video where I was telling Vortex, hey, if you don't want to argue gender, don't bring up Carmen's gender. Pretty fucking obvious. And Akumu responded to that single point. Now, I didn't really care about the video. Honestly, I kind of just shrugged it off and left it be. But I also noticed that he made a video on Mushroom Girl, and I watched the video and it was him responding to a single joke Mushroom Girl made. It was kind of nonsensical and didn't really make sense, but it was a, just a joke I could even tell. If it was a joke, why exactly did Mushroom Girl defend the joke as a legitimate point in her response video? Why is it she went on to literally prove my point by claiming I tried to dox Slimmers, despite the fact that it's proven to be false? Guys, guys, it's a joke, but I actually stand by the joke. This is the exact same shit the SCC did recently. As well, I even stated the reason why I made those videos to begin with is because after I release the series that I'm working on, I want people to return to those videos for a good laugh and to have more context as to just how rampant these lies are and how far they've spread, at just how brainless Ponder and Nezzy's audience are. The videos were made to serve a purpose, something I stated when I made them. And when a bigger video comes out, I'm going to tell you all to come back and watch this one, because this one is an example, not really a staple point, but a simple example that is ironic and very fucking humorous. And you'll be able to see the irony by the end of this video, but there will be even more when the bigger video comes out. And it was really, again, a whatever moment. He decided to make a whole video responding to that, and even mentioned that he was going to continue to talk about the videos Ponder and Nezzy did on him there two years ago at this point. Th exactly like Mushroom Girl, talking on shit that you know nothing of. Several times now I have talked about, hinted at, and directly stated, whether it be in comments, videos, or community posts, that I'm working on a retrospective series. Series. Ponder and Nezzy's videos are within that retrospective series because those videos took place in 2020 and they were members of a group who specifically targeted me from 2019 to 2020, lying about me and even lying about friends surrounding me. The retrospective series will be documenting everything that happened and providing things to the public that weren't known before. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what Copium looks like. I started thinking. I figured. There's no way Akumu just responds to everybody who does a video on him. There's no way he's gonna waste his time covering somebody whose video clearly doesn't even fucking matter in the long run. So I decided to put that to the test and made Content Cope Akumu where I responded to his Coping Coda video. But I did a few things in the video that you might not have noticed. One, a lot of my arguments were very flimsy. I really didn't use any arguments that I think were going to convince anybody. That was on purpose. Two, I made sure to use arguments that he already addressed in his videos on George. Three, I added sections that I was clearly making fun of him to try to make this as obvious as possible that this was a troll video to not be taken seriously. I wanted to make this video as ignorable and insignificant as possible. I wanted it to be a video that you could look at, shrug off, and nothing would ever come of it. I smell bullshit. Or, let's go with the more realistic option. This is an entire fucking excuse that you're trying to come up with and bullshit your way out of. Trying to puppet master your way out of the hole that you've dug. And yet, you end up digging it deeper. And the reason I say that is because you spend like, what, the first two, three minutes trying to come up with your reasons as to why it was just a joke video? And yet, your specific reference point was Mushroom Girl, which was a video on Kumo where she brought me up in my friendship with him as a joke that she went on to defend. So wouldn't it be better to prove your point to do a video that isn't on me, but brings me up as a joke and did make a video on it, you could say, ha, huh, I got you. But you didn't do that. You made a response video to the video that I made on you, repeated the same points in that video, and then went on to repeat those same points in this video. He responded to a video on a troll channel with subscribers barely in the double digits, and he felt bothered enough to actually respond. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because Akumu has been shown to respond to everybody who so much as sneezes aggressively in his fucking direction, and I think it's fucking hilarious. Because this, ladies and gentlemen, proves one thing, that he's huffing that fucking copium. Akumu can say whatever he wants. If he was really confident in his points, he wouldn't feel the need to respond to every person who so much as made a single shitty argument against his video. Oh yes, I'm huffing the copium because I responded to a video and now you're saying it was just a joke, guys. So which is it? Is the video an elaborate ruse that you've got me with bait? Or was it a joke video? You can't have both. And secondly, I've been responding to videos done on me or things that have been said recently is specifically because it's extremely easy content. You all say a lot of stupid shit. 
I make rebuttal points and make fun of the stupid shit you say, and my audience has been entertained by that. It's extremely easy content. While I work on the bigger videos, such as my retrospective series, which I've been dropping hints in my content and in my community posts to keep my audience on their toes. Not only that, but there are several videos that have been made on me that I haven't responded to. Spockter made a video that had misinformation surrounding me. I'm going to name a couple of videos that I haven't responded to that have been made on me. Fractured Light's video on me in slumber. Lindata's video on my Dan Stein video, despite that being an absolute fucking train wreck. Night Tide Eye's video on me from 2020, which was also a fucking train wreck. And there's also a plethora of videos from the Kai Weiss drama, where people either had misinformation about me in the video itself, among many of them which had popular misconceptions from the Slimmers vs. Medea drama. He wouldn't feel the need to respond to a troll video on a troll channel with barely double-digit subscribers. He responded to a video on a troll channel with subscribers barely in the double digits. I mean, if I was trying to make a serious video, I would have posted it on my actual Nekokoda channel, would I not? I would actually have long, detailed explanations as to why his points were wrong, and trust me, I could have gone into detail, but I didn't want to, because I frankly didn't care. We have a, a colorful graphic here that shows instances of bullshit like this are on the rise, is that right? Yes, although why is unclear. Some say it's because of one fucking reason, others say it's because of some other fucking reason. Let me get this straight. You didn't care, but you made an elaborate ruse of a video that I took the bait of, but at the same time, it was a joke. Now, I'm not going to actually seriously try to respond to this video because I really don't give a fuck, but I do want to touch on a few things that I just find fucking hilarious. Like, you can say I was closing my shit all you want, but the point is, I had other points in my videos. You made a four-minute video dedicated to just pronouns. Who is the one losing their shit over pronouns here? Oh, really? Did I complain because you called Carmen a she? Did I complain that Vortex called Carmen a he? No, I didn't do either of those things. Oh, really? Because one chunk of my video was about pronouns, but you've made, what, several videos now trying to reiterate the same point that... Guys, guys, we should just be allowed to refer to people however we want. Again, Coda, where in any of those videos that you're referencing did I complain about how you all chose to refer to an individual? Where did I complain on what pronouns you chose? It's pretty funny for you to talk about people reiterating points when you've also reiterated points in this video too. When you keep denying the thing that I'm making fun of you for, which is specifically your, you called that male a male? You're starting a gender debate. That very attitude is the thing I'm making fun of you for. And yet that seems to go right over your head and you seem to conflate that as oh i'm the one who's complaining about pronouns no I i'm the spurt for making one section trying to say that you shouldn't misgender trans women <laughs> and saying that if you don't want to argue gender don't bring it up akumu's clearly not the spurt here no 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 the person who's made several videos as of now bitching about the fact that trans people don't like to be misgendered. Well, gosh, you don't like something. Wait, where have we heard this before? Oh, that's right. Nicole, I'm gonna let past Akumu handle this one. You and me both know trans people don't like to be dead named. You and I both know this. Oh my god, you don't like something? Well, what should we do? Should we erase it for you? Should we remove its entire existence for you? Because you don't like something? Give me a fucking break. But you did. It's pretty obvious who's bitching about pronouns here. I made a four minute video dedicated to making fun of you because of your pronoun crusade. We have one individual telling both parties to do as they please, me, and we have the other who's demanding someone use the preferred gender pronouns or none at all. Otherwise, they are immediately starting the debate if they do so. That is you, Coda. Yes, by not gendering Carmen properly, you are putting on the table the debate that you do not see her as a valid woman. You do not see she, her as her proper pronoun. You are arguing that she's not the gender she identifies as. You cannot deny that. He was born with a penis. You cannot deny that. Because if I'm misgendering her, you clearly do not see her as that gender. And if you're gonna push back against someone's identity, how they identify, and the label they put onto themselves, you better be willing to expect pushback when you make that point. But I'm, I'm confused on one thing. Why do you keep pushing this narrative of, we should just let people say whatever they want? Sure. Vortex is technically allowed to misgender Carmen. I'm not gonna fucking copyright strike his video. I'm not gonna silence him. I'm not gonna do anything to stop him physically from doing it. But I also want to discuss why I believe he shouldn't do that. 
Oh no, God forbid, we discuss our ideas. We don't just shrug our shoulders and let people say whatever they want. How about you play the full clip of what I was responding to? Because it changes the context up. I wasn't spreading some narrative. I was responding to your point where you suggested that I was the one that was actually upset about pronouns, that I was some spurg that was throwing a fit over pronouns. And I responded to that by pointing out the difference between the two alternatives that we provided. Mine being people do whatever the fuck they want to and refer to them however they want to. And yours being they refer to the individual the way you want them to or they don't do it at all. That they use the proper pronouns, no gendered pronouns, or just don't do it. And that you also admitted in DMs that when you cover something in commentary, the point of covering in commentary is to get them to stop doing it. This is the equivalent of a flat earther talking to a person who believes the earth is a globe and saying, bro, why don't you just let us both believe whatever we want to believe? Because if we go by that standard, that's fucking nonsensical and gets us fucking nowhere. I never said respect their opinion. I said respect the disagreement. <laughs> fucking dumb shit. Why on earth you thought making a video doing this same thing from our DMs would help your case anymore? Despercy, maybe? You can criticize an opinion or viewpoint without demanding the person to do things your way or not to do it at all. I didn't demand anything, I simply said, if you don't want to argue X point, don't make X point. Here's a wonderful example. I honestly liked Ponder and Nezzy's video on you. I agreed with a lot of their points and thought it was pretty good. However, I don't want to actually argue that, so I'm not going to bring up any points from that video. I have a disagreement, I am not bringing it up, and I'm not talking about it. No, well, kind of, but I'm not talking about any specific points I actually liked or disagreed with you on. If I actually brought up points I disagreed with in that video, in this video, and then you decided to respond, and I said, well, why don't we just believe whatever we want to believe and you stop crusading against me? That would be fucking stupid. If you don't want to argue X point, don't make X point. And yet at the same time, you've said that by Vortex misgendering Carmen, he's starting the gender debate. That simply calling a male a male and making fun of his poor attempt to sound feminine with a voice changer is starting the debate. But at the same time, you can bring up the Ponder and Nezzy videos, state that you agree with it, but you're not actually starting a discussion or debate on it unless you specify what you agree or disagree with. Why hasn't that logic applied to Vortex? He never actually made any specific gender arguments. He never made an argument for why Carmen was a male. He simply referred to Carmen as a male. And yet, simply referring to a male as a male opens up the gender debate. But if you state that you agree with videos done on someone that's not opening the discussion. This makes no fucking sense, Coda. Your logic for Vortex opening the discussion versus your logic in this scenario of bringing up Ponder and Nezzy's videos is inconsistent. I never said Vortex has to gender Carmen properly. No, and I never said you did say that. What you did say was that if he doesn't want to deal with the autistic pronoun posse throwing a fit, he should either use the proper pronouns or don't use any gendered pronouns at all. You get your way or they don't do it at all. However, I obviously do think he should. But that's just my opinion. I never said I'm going to silence him. I never tried to silence him or anything like that. I just said if you don't want to argue the point, don't make it. In the same way, I don't want to argue whether or not you docked Slimmers, so I'm not going to make that point. I never suggested that you were trying to silence him. I was making fun of you because you feel the need to start a gender debate all because a male was called a male. Repeatedly admitted to, and yet you keep denying making that point. And the irony doesn't stop there, folks, because just as he previously said, I'm the one who's coping for covering every video that's made on me, even though I haven't, and yet somehow he's not coping when he's admitted several times that he feels the need to start a gender debate because someone was misgendered. Yes, by not gendering Carmen properly, you are putting on the table the debate that you do not see her as a valid woman. Because a male was called a male, and he feels the need to make a point because of that. I know exactly what's going to happen after this because Akumu is so goddamn predictable. He's going to make another video on me. It's going to be called Coping Coda 2 or some dumb shit. He's going to repeat the same arguments he's made a hundred times because he has to huff that fucking copium and- So repeating the arguments is coping. Well, what about these? Stop bringing gender politics into this. I didn't. You guys did. You guys brought up gender and pronouns into this by misgendering and attacking Carmen for her gender identity and probably the things she does to avoid dysphoria. Yes, if you don't want to debate something, don't bring up the point. You know where I was telling Vortex, hey, if you don't want to argue gender, don't bring up Carmen's gender. No, I I'm the spurt for making one section trying to say that you shouldn't misgender trans women and saying that if you don't want to argue gender, don't bring it up. Yes, by not gendering Carmen properly, you are putting on the table the debate that you do not see her as a valid woman. Let's also not forget that this retard's first reaction to my 
coping code of video was to say that I misunderstood the video and then reiterate this exact same point which was said in the video and played in my video. But yes, I'm the one that's a broken fucking record because you seem to intentionally keep dodging the point with every response that you make. And that point is, I'm making fun of you because you feel the need to go on a crusade over pronouns. If he doesn't respond to every single person who so much as has a negative thought about him, his ego is going to fucking shatter. Huh. Who else is somebody who responds to absolutely everybody who dares criticize them? I wonder, who else is a grown-ass man on the internet who throws tantrums over pronouns? Who's trans? And uses a pitch modifier? You see, that backfired. Exactly like all your videos have. So I'm the one who's coping, and I have a fragile ego, and my fragile ego will shatter if I don't respond to everyone who criticizes me. And yet there are several videos that I haven't responded to that talk about me or have misinformation about me. This is coming from the same individual who is still in denial about the fact that he lost the debate. And of course, when it comes to Nekokoda, it doesn't stop there, because he also felt the need to confront someone in his server because they didn't use the proper pronouns in my comments. Hey, at Lun, not to put you on blast, but you know I go by she slash her, right? Laughing my ass off, Coda thinks he won that debate when he was clearly losing his shit at the end of it. Now because Mushroom Girl simps over this loser, I already know that she's going to take screenshots from my server and provide them to Coda to point out this grand hypocrisy of mine. Problem is, I confronted Mushroom Girl because she was claiming that I docked someone when I didn't. Versus Coda, who confronted someone over being called a male, over being called he. I don't know, being accused of committing a crime versus being called a male seems a little bit different to me, but maybe. That's just my personal bias. The best way to summarize this is the Wojak meme. Coda is coping by projecting the coping onto me. That the video was actually a troll, a ruse, a ploy to get me to respond to prove that I respond to everyone that makes a video on me that says anything about me because I have a fragile ego. It's totally not because it's extremely easy content and you say a lot of stupid shit. No, 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 it can't be that. No, of course not. It can't be that, but I'm the one with the fragile ego. Let's not forget the plethora of hypocrisy like saying I'm the one reiterating my points despite the fact that he's not only doing the same, but the only times I've done it is when he's completely dodging my fucking point and I have to correct him. If I'm the one who's upset about pronouns and coping, why did you confront Lun over calling you he? Why was the alternative that you provided them doing it your way or not doing it at all? Why is it you admitted that when you criticize people that the point of commentary to you is to get the individual to stop, to have them stop doing it? I didn't admit these things. These aren't my points. These are yours. You're not puppeteering your way out of this. Everyone can see just how fucking stupid you are. You meant what you said and you have meant what you said. It's only a joke after the fact because it backfired. Because it was fucking stupid. Instead of just facing what this was, which was me making fun of you for your ridiculous need to stand on that hill and defend those oh-so-precious pronouns. Instead of facing it like that, you had to try and make it deeper than that. You had to try and dodge every, every single point that was made and then repeat yourself and then say that I'm repeating myself because I'm not allowing you to dodge those points. And then trying to hide these mental gymnastics in this blatant fucking projection. You're not slick. So thank you, Coda, for allowing me to provide my audience with easy content. I appreciate it. And to my audience, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good night. We the up, Samurai. We have a city to burn.